I really love cats. I was 14 when I made the decision to be a veterinarian and a lot of the 14 year olds, I don't really know if I want them making those kind of decisions for the rest of your life. But you know, as you get older and get more gray and white hair like I have, you, you'd like to think that you made a difference. If you can reflect back and say, you know, because of my efforts, they started putting more protein in food for older cats. And because of the efforts of the people that I've worked with over the years, that incidentally have done most of the heavy lifting, <laughs> we've saved a lot of cats from euthanasia because of not using the litter box. And so I can look back and have no regrets. I decided early on to really specialize in one species, and cats are definitely their <laughs> own unique animal. And I always have had a real affinity for cats. <laughs> you got it. Wow. I think the reason that our company uh, is so big on giving to shelters is that we understand what a huge need there is out there for cats that are in shelters. The adoption rate for cats out of shelters is nowhere near as good as the rate for dogs. And shelters are chronically underfunded. So we make it a point to provide them with free stuff. We give them free cat litter and do whatever we can to help them in their efforts. What are you doing? In 2009, my wife, Kathy, was diagnosed with multiple myeloma. And multiple myeloma is a blood cancer that is fatal. It's, uh, it's really a bad news disease. She also owns half the company. And so once she had gotten through a stem cell transplant, we decided it would be good if we could somehow give back. As a result of that, uh, we've been able to give about $12 million to cancer research. If, if I had a favorite thing about the Dr. Elsie's brand, it's that we try to speak for the cat. As a cat, would you want a real dusty litter box? No. A cat litter that really stinks like perfumes and deodorants? No. Would you want food that is more in line with what your natural diet would be? Yeah. <laughs> so all of those things are something that we've really paid attention to. And so coming at these different problems from a feline veterinarian perspective, I think we've been able to really hone in on a lot of the things that cats really need.